Hello everyone. Microsoft Minute is back with another tutorial. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to use GitLab and Docker for continuous integration and continuous deployment. In our previous video, we did a walkthrough on how to set up GitLab Omnibus Edition with CI using Docker. So you can consider this video as an extension to it. This is my CI runners area. As you can see, there are two runners available: General and Stays. General runs my test cases, and Stays is used. to build images and deploy into staging area i already initialized the test project of course it is empty under pipelines you can see test deploy and build status of your ci and registry stores your docker images if this section is not available to you you can read my blog post on how to enable gitlab container registry the link will be available in the description i already have few configuration files from a previous project we'll walk through it later initializing a django project changing directory to sample project and initializing a git repository adding remote Now let's add GitLab CI file. when we run python manage.py test since test cases are empty we have quick results that's the reason i am not adding any test cases now under pipeline section we should see test cases running oh i forgot to add requirements file or
my sample test cases are running so now you understand how GitLab CI works These are my configuration files that we will use in this project. Let us look into docker file. Here I am pulling latest Ubuntu image, installing required packages, copying files and required uh, copying project files and required configuration files to their respective places and adding an init script for it to act as an entry point for our docker image. This is my nginx file. And this is uwsj configuration file. This will be the GitLab CI file that will build and deploy it into staging. Of course, we, we need to make minor modifications for it to match our current project details. You can find the registry details in registry section of your project. And eighty fifty is available for us to use. So I'm routing data through eighty fifty port. Now moving files to its appropriate locations. As you can see in docker file it is mandatory for nginx file and uwsj file to be inside the cons folder because that's how i set it in my docker file and in yml file you can see that i'm logging into my gitlab container registry and then I'm building the image based on the Docker file that is in the project's root folder and I'm pushing it to the GitLab container registry. And in deploy stage, I'm, I am logging in, pulling it and removing if any uh, previous containers with name web exists and running it with the name web and exposing port 8050 to root through port 80 of Nginx. And you see that there are two places where I use tag stays and only these sections of the YML file will be picked up by my second runner.
let's look into pipelines we can see that it's divided into three stages as mentioned in our GitLab CI file test build and deploy now I have to wait till this test cases is completed then it will automatically move on to the next section build As you can see, the whole power plane is successful. You should see the registry image and AD50 should show your Django page. Thank you for watching it. Subscribe for more videos.